this video tutorial I will show you how to um, design your logic circuit using Quartus 2 there are lots of good tutorial for using Quartus 2 and one of the best is this tutorial that you can find it by searching in Google using Quartus 2 CAD software the first result is the link to this uh, tutorial if you uh, follow this tutorial you will be able to design a function and simulate it on your computer uh, the function here the, the digital circuit that you are, you are going to design in this tutorial is this circuit as you see uh, you have truth table of this circuit too which uh, we are trying to show how to do this design using Quartus schematic and uh, uh, how to simulate it uh, the function actually is in page 22 f equals to x1 and x2 or uh, not of x2 and by x3 this is the same thing that you see in this page, the page 7. Okay, let us start designing the software in Quartus 2. First of all, you should create a new project for um, start designing the circuit. In the file menu, click on New Project Wizard and click on Next. Um, in this section, you should choose the project directory that you are trying to, uh, you are going to save your project files. It's good to do that in something like this. For example, I create a new document here. My Quartus, Quartus project and I create another one for first project first project okay then uh, all the files in this project will be saved in this path. You should uh, select a name uh, for the project. I will just run the first project and click on next. Uh, okay. If you have pre-made uh, files, uh, you should include them in this section, but we don't have any pre-made files then we just simply click on next. In this page, you should select the family of the uh, target FPGA you want to compile the project on it because we are just using Quartus for simulation it doesn't matter what type of uh, FPGA you are using then I just uh, select Cyclone 2 and uh, for target device I just select auto device selected by the filter and uh, uh, set everything else as default and click on next we are not going to worry about this page then click on next and this is some um, preview of what we have done in creating a project click on, click on finish the project has been uh, created the first project okay now uh, we should go to file menu again click on new there are different types of uh, new files that we can add to our project the things that we are going to use in this video tutorial is block diagram or a schematic file which, which is under design files then click on block di diagrams and a schematic file and click on OK there is a toolbar here that you can 
um, select uh, logic gates and and wires and both to connect uh, uh, logic gates to each other and create your circuit. For the purpose of our project, the function is the circuit. Then we need two ends, one knot, and an OR to build this function. Okay. Uh, this simple symbol symbol tool. Click on symbol tool to uh, choose your uh, gates and add them to a schematic file. There are uh, different types of uh, symbols you can add to your project or your schematic file, but because we are using uh, logic gates that are under primitives, click on this plus to open this menu. And uh, from logic menu, you can choose different types of ands ORs, NORs, and different types of logic gates that you know. Because we are using AND gates, two AND gates, as I told before, there are two AND gates. Uh, with two inputs, we choose this, uh, this one. But if we had something, for example, if there are three inputs in this AND, we can use AND3, which has three inputs. Okay, now add these two ends to our schematic files and click and uh, on your keyboard uh, push escape button to exit end. And uh, now we need a NOT gate and a NOR gate. Click on symbol tool again you can simply write in this section not and it just uh, select not for us and also you can just scroll down to find uh, not, uh, find not uh, it's uh, up to you which is uh, more comfortable for you okay you need an and no you need a not here but as you see, we should we should have a knot which is rotated in 90 degree. Then push escape button to exit this uh, inserting gate mode on your keyboard, and then click right right click on uh, knot gate and rotate 90 degrees. Again, uh, actually we should use. Uh, 270 degrees to have a NOT gate in this way. Okay. Click on symbol gate again. We need OR two and click on OR two to add the OR to your project and Mish, yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, now we need three inputs and one output as you see. Then click on symbol tool again. Under primitives there is another section with name of pin. Click on pin and there is input output which is useful for our project. Then click on input we have three inputs then three times we should put this input pin and also we need output pin one output pin for the result of our circuit okay try to put them in a good way to connect them easily to the circuit okay uh, we should connect x1 to one port of and and x2 to not and 
uh, one another port of above and and we just uh, create this circuit as you see this one is uh, there's orthogonal node tool which is something like wire you should use this one to connect your input to AND gate just try to do it when uh, when it's on the on one input pin it create it shows a, a square which means you can uh, connect these two pins to each other and uh, you can also add from add a, add a uh, line from with, uh, from the middle of another line to your uh, gate should connect the output of not to the below not below end and this input to another input okay connect other pins as you see just left click on the end of the pin end of the output or input of a logic uh, gate and try to connect when you go through uh, the pin that the, the, the place that you can connect there is an uh, there is a square which is which shows up that you can connect in that point and just drag and drop at the square okay and the output which is the output of uh, okay now we have designed our uh, logic circuit uh, it's completely similar to the thing that is it's showed in uh, in this um, tutorial okay the pin names are not uh, really good because pin name pin name for uh, are not interesting you can uh, you can name them as you want for example you can change the name by double clicking them and write x1 or x1 x2 and x3 and the result as f for our function 